now to our forecast. It's been a really beautiful day, but there's still a chance for showers and that does not surprise me. Mike, Mike Taylor here because when it gets so hot and you know, really gets humid, which I've been feeling in the last few hours, you feel like it's got to break somehow, right? Yeah, that's that muggy meter starting to climb just a touch and it will continue to do so in the days ahead and especially by Wednesday with highs to climb up near record heat. Uh, we have a few showers. Most of it stayed south of us and we will keep our eyes to the skies. So far, so good in most areas. 83 degrees so far, the high temp. This morning we started off at 66 and here's a look at where we go from here. We'll have a warm and dry start to Monday. But then after that, the 80s are going to continue. After though, we're tracking some heavy rain and storms. There is a possible severe weather threat late in the evening on Monday, which we'll talk about and break that down for you. And then after that, following it, we'll see some big heat as temperatures climb up near 90 degrees. High pressure has been winning out. The cold front has been pretty weak, and you'll see the showers and storms flaring up out ahead of that. So, so far, so good. But here's a look at the radar. You'll see some of these lake breezes you see here. These could create some showers all on their own. But so far, so good across Metro Detroit as we have a mixture of the sun as well as the clouds out there. Temperatures in the 70s and the 80s. For tonight, we expect skies to turn mostly clear. We'll cool down too. Back to the 50s we go in some spots here, especially from Lapeer. Port Huron at 49, so it is going to be a cool feel for tomorrow, but we warm up once again. Now there's two sides to Monday. It starts off warm and bright. Clouds increase through the afternoon. High temp of 82, but once we get towards the drive home and beyond, we'll have to keep our eyes on the skies. We're tracking some severe storms, so the Tigers game tomorrow as they take on uh, the White Sox. We're going to see those temperatures going down into the 70s. First pitch is going to be at 7:10 p.m. and the storms are going to be approaching around that time period. Now I want to give you some good news here. Most of the forecast trends are keeping this boundary around to the south, and that is going to protect us from the storms, at least we hope. But models can see these storm systems and complexes coming together, but they have a really hard time pinpointing the direction they're going to take. So here's the storm complex we're talking about, and it's going to mean business. The question is, how close will it be to Detroit? So because of this, the Storm Prediction Center does have us at least outlooked right now uh, for a risk of severe weather. But if you notice this yellow color, which is that level two risk, is just south of Detroit, and that's because those are the forecast trends, but this can easily shift north. Something we're going to be watching for you. Be sure to check in with Kevin Jeans first thing in the morning for the latest update to that. Once we get past that severe weather threat for Monday night, it's all about the heat. 95 degrees on Wednesday, 90 degrees on Thursday. The humidity will be there, so at times it'll feel like 100. Mm -hmm. And then we finally cool down at least just a touch back to the 80s and the 70s by next weekend. Wow.